Right line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we're at the 49th annual Jambalaya Festival. We're out here today, we're going to be filming the 12 finalists for the Jambalaya Festival champion. We're going to check on some of the good food at the Jambalaya Festival. We're going to check on some really cool people out here. And we're going to crown a Jambalaya cook for 2016. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all made it over to the first finalist. And uh, let's get their names and where they're from. Brian Babin, Santa Mall. Quentin Corley, Prairieville. And what I want to ask all the guys is, how long have you cooked in the Jambalaya Festival? This is my second year. And have you made the finals before? Never made the finals. We made the semifinals last year in that first year, but this is the first time making the finals. Now, who inspired you to cook jambalaya? Where do you get that from? Well, I uh, actually had a lot of friends when I went to Hammond. I went to school in Hammond, and they always asked me if I ever cooked it, and I said no, and it just tore me up to not be able to say that I did. <laughs> but uh, my wife, Allie Abedee, her dad, my father-in-law, Lyman, really taught me everything I know about jambalaya pretty much. All right, fellas, I'm going to wish y'all good luck. Hopefully see y'all at the podium. Thank you, brother. All right, y'all, made it over to some more finals. Let's get, let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Devin Blair. I'm from Geismer, Louisiana. And? Jared Dugas from Prairieville, Louisiana. All right, Devin, how many times have you been in the Jumbo Life Festival? How long have you been cooking here? This is my sixth year. Sixth year? How many times have you made the finals? This is my first time making it to the finals. Oh, all right. Now, uh, I'm asking about who, what inspired you to cook Jumbo Life? Man. My mom's brother, my uncle, uh, Dodie Gotro, y'all gonna see him a little bit further down. He made it to the finals this year. Uh, they've been doing it all their life. And uh, and I watched them do it, and then I was like, I wanna try it. And I started cooking with them when they come out and cook, and uh, and they taught me how to do it all. Awesome, awesome. That's cool. Well, I guess we'll get to see him down there. Hey, I'm gonna wish y'all good luck. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all made it over to some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. Jeremy Terrio, right here from Gonzales. Tim Terrio from Gonzales. How long have you been cooking in the festival? This is our ninth year. Ninth year. How many times you made the finals? I believe this is the fourth time, oh, maybe wow. fifth. Now, yes. Who inspired you to cook jambalaya? Where did you get that from? Um, originally, the uh, first time I seen Byron Gotro cook was in 94 in a big pot. It was really awesome. And uh, years later, Jeff Pyron and uh, Scott Duplichan, a year uh, Jeff won, he got me into cooking after that. So. Awesome, man. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all got some more cooks here. Let's get their names and where they from. Hey, I'm Justin Corville. I'm from Prairieville. John Corville from Santa Mall. All right. Well, how long you been cooking in it? Uh, the last two years, and I cooked two years about five years ago, and I quit for a little while, and I came back. It's hot out here. This gets it gets warm. How, how many times you made the finals? This is gonna be my second time. Second time. Last year and this year. Who, uh, where do you get this jambalaya cooking from? Who, who, who inspired you? Well, I guess hanging around uh, hunting camps and deer camps, and, and then I kind of learned. Mr. Wally taught me a lot. I cooked with him growing up, and been doing it ever since. Awesome. All my friends cook, so All right. kind of what we do. I worked with, uh, work with Wally for years at the at the plant I work at. Wally retired from there. Is there any art to cutting these onions up? <laughs> no, no, no do it as fast as you can. They don't give them till you already cut? Yeah. <laughs> hey, good luck to y'all. Thanks, Thank man. We appreciate it. All right, y'all made it over to some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Scott Duplichan, Ascension Parish, Santa Mall. And his wife, Kelly Duplichan. All right, Scott, how long you been cooking in this thing? Well, this is our eighth year together, and I cooked, uh, I don't know, five or six years with Jeff Parron. How many times have you made the finals? 
with Kelly and I, we made it the last four. Oh, last wow. Four years, yeah. And a championship in there. A championship and uh, this year, champion champs. All right. Yeah. Awesome, man. So we've been on a roll. Now, I'm asking all the guys, where do you get your inspiration for cooking jambalaya? Where does that come from? Well, I wouldn't have started at all if it wasn't for Jeff Farrell. He, he called me up one day, wanted me to cook with him and uh, come be his helper. And I didn't know anything about cooking. And uh, I told him it's crazy. They do that stuff on wood fire. I said, we don't know anything. But uh, yeah, we learned how to do it together. We learned here at the festival and uh, we, we just competitive. You know, we, you know, it's just a good way to compete in a, in a, a good environment, you know? Yeah, 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 and have a good time with your wife and win that, stuff. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look like you got a good recipe, and I'm going to wish you good luck for this year. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks, appreciate man. It. Thanks. All right, y'all, made it over to another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. My name's Shane Mortonez from Santa Maria, Louisiana. Now, who's your helper back there hard at it? Man to man, Babin. All right. How long have you been cooking in the festival, Shane? 17 years. 17. How many times have you made the finals? This is my second time for the finals. I made it to the semifinals four times. Oh, wow. Now, uh, what I've been asking all the guys, where do you get the inspiration for cooking jambalaya? Where does that come from? Hey, from my grandmother. Oh, really? Yes. Years ago. Years and years ago. Over 20 years ago. She was a good cook. She was a great cook. Always cooking. Always cooking jambalaya. Awesome. All right, man. I'm going to let y'all get back to work. This is serious business coming up. Thank you. Good luck. All right, y'all. made it over to some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, Kobe Thacker from Marpaul, Louisiana. And I'm Tennille Thacker, his wife. How long have you been cooking in the festival? Uh, this is my ninth year cooking in the festival. Ninth first year. First with my beautiful wife helping me, though. All right. Now, how many times have you made the finals? This is the first. First time. Yeah, wow. so she'll never let me live it down. You know? <laughs> All right. Oh, it's a memory. It's a That's good right. memory. Right? That's right. Great. A great one. Now, where do you get your inspiration for cooking jambalaya? Where do you think that comes from? I think we are uh, just trying to keep a tradition alive, our heritage in this area. And her grandfather cooked in one of the first or the first uh, jambalaya festival. Wow. Right, right. I don't come from a cooking family, but the cornets, she was a cornet, so you can imagine we got we uh There's a lot of cooking there. That's right, that's right. So we're just trying to keep our kids involved and do it the same. Do it the well, same. Neat. They don't send you the chicken already cut up over here. Y'all got to no, cut it up. No, unfortunately, I mean it's already cut up, but you just do a little trimming, like the rib cages and stuff. You don't want it to fall off in your rice, you know. Well, Cleaning well, it up before we fry. Good luck to y'all. All right, thank you very much. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all got some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. Brandon Henry from Central Louisiana. Robert Husk from Central Louisiana. How long you been cooking in the Jumbo Festival? First, I was a helper last year, but this is my first time cooking. Oh wow! And made the finals. Yeah, we won the Swamp Pop Festival last year. Ah, undoubtedly you got a good recipe. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, where do you get your Jumbo cooking from? Where do you get that inspiration? I uh, just always my grandparents and everybody always cooked it. Nobody really cooked contests, and I just got interested in it, and tried it, it's fun, so we do it. Well, Looks like you got it down pat. I'm gonna wish y'all good luck, fellas. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all, I got some more cooks over here. As a matter of fact, these are the winners from last year. Let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, my name is Lee Ellisor. Um, we're from Santa Mar, Louisiana. Uh, my name's Kirk Ellisor, and I'm from Santa Mar, Louisiana as well. Now, how long have you been cooking in the festival? This is my third year as a cook. We, uh, this is our second year together. That's my younger brother right there. So we, uh, we got a good thing going right now. I think. Yes, I think y'all do, man, because this year's uh, second time in the finals. and. Absolutely. That's Looking for two in a row. That's correct. That's what we're gonna give it a give it a whirl. Now, who taught you to cook jambalaya? Or where do you get this jambalaya cooking from? We got a uh, deep family roots. Uh, my dad and uncle learned from their parents, and uh, it's just been running through our blood for a long time. We got cousins that cook in it, uncles, you know. So I think it really falls down to uh, our dad and and uncle Jody Ellisar, who's previously won it before. So. We got a little, uh, you got a little help. Blood. Out. Yeah, absolutely. A little help. Man, where y'all get this fancy apparatus from? Uh, we kind of winged that up the other night. Just uh, got an onion cutter and built a little stand for it. It works. Yeah, absolutely, it works. It's, awesome. it's a great help for us, you know. So hey, I'm gonna wish y'all good luck. Hopefully, a repeat. Uh, we're gonna give it our best shot. Thank y'all.
Asian living and cooking. And we'll be right back. Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week. Cooking demos on Saturdays and customer service that will help you get the job done. Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats now has more to offer. The same high quality seafood, live and bald crawfish, crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, gore balls, and local catfish just to name a few. Now selling your favorite smokehouse products. Homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories. With essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. TrueFab, a fabrication and welding service shop located in Gonzales, Louisiana. Committed to quality, on-time delivery per ASME and AWS codes with on-staff CWI. Specializing in pipe fabrication, manufacturing, and specialty structural steel fabrication. Serving the industry with over 50 years of combined welding, industrial construction, and fabrication experience. TrueFab provides a cost-effective outsource solution for manufacturers. Simply put, our commitment to your satisfaction keeps you as a valued customer. TrueFab. Building industry partnerships. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, got the last finalist out here on the end. He got a little shady spot with a fan going. Let's get their names and where are we from? Uh, I'm Hoss Wren. I'm from Gonzales. I'm Brett Wren. I'm also from Gonzales. I heard him calling you Horsefly. Horsefly, yeah. All right, man. Horsefly. 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 You get the proper enunciation of that. Now, uh, how long you been cooking in the Jumbalot Fest? This will make 16 years. Wow. You won it. 2014. 2014. How many times you was in the finals? I've been in the finals. Wow, well, this was fifth time. Fifth time. Wow. Wow. You got a good recipe, undoubtedly. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> now, where do you get your inspiration for cooking? Uh, Who taught you, or where I, that comes from? I got it from my father. I mean, he taught me, and uh, I just, you know, went on on my own and uh, perfected it the way I like it. You know. Right. He's getting some good help, look like. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm practicing. He's getting practice so he can cook next year on his own. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, awesome, y'all. I'm going to wish y'all good luck and hopefully Thank to see you. you in the winter circle. I hope so, too. Thank you. All right, y'all. We're out here, and all the cooks are cooking now, and uh, they got a bunch of spectators on the fence. Let's get their names and where they from. I'm Brian from Titusville, Florida. What's your name and where you from? Wayne Camp, Baton Rouge. Mark Perrini, Baton Rouge. Get your name and where you from? Finals. Oh, Brian Marshawn, right here in Gonzales. Brentley Marshawn, Gonzalez as well. Chris Gonzalez, Santa Monica. Marvin Wagaspack, Burrville. Y'all got a horse in this race? Any one of y'all got a horse in this race? Oh, y'all with Lyman? Yes, sir. He's due up for a good win. He's, he's going to get it. Looks like, they're taking it, it looks like they're taking it serious they're over there. Serious, we're ready to roll. Y'all cheering for Lyman too? Oh, yeah. All right. Y'all got a horse in this race? Spectators, we got, um, we're gonna cook any next year. Ah. We cook competitively now. So I see how it all, all happens. Y'all just come to eat the jambalaya. Right. That too. <laughs> there it is, y'all. We're gonna get a winner here soon. All right, y'all. Man, I found the queens. I got the royalty here. Let's get their names and their titles and where they're from. I'm your 2016 Miss Gonzalez Jambalaya, Holly Stelly. And 
Destiny Ray Mitchell, your team, Miss Gonzalez Jambalaya. All right, now y'all got the crowns. What do y'all have to do during the reign of being Miss Jumbala? I'm contracted to go throughout the year traveling to state of Louisiana, representing my hometown, of course, Gonzalez, and the festival. I will go to many different festivals and pageants, and I'm also going to be sent to Washington, D.C., and competing in Queen of Queens. Woohoo! What else y'all got going on? We're also going to get the opportunity to ride in the Gonzalez Christmas Parade and participate in the Christmas tree lighting this year. Wow, y'all got a lot of stuff to do. Yes, sir, I do. I, I want to tell y'all again, congratulations, and have a great time at the festival. Thank, thank you. Y'all come out and enjoy. Hey, everybody, I was coming through by the jambalaya side over here, and I found Cal Blanchard eating up some jambalaya. Oh, yeah, dude. How's it yeah. going? Oh, it's going good, going good. How's the jambalaya? Oh, it's pretty good. You could use some Blanchard's blend Cajun seasoning on it, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you could, though. Anytime you're cooking jambalaya, you want to put some Blanchard's blend, or anything you're cooking. You been having a good time out here? Oh, this is great. This is the first time I've ever been here. Because this year, every year, we have the yeah, Park Fair, but it got dialed down. So I decided to come on out here to the Jambalaya Festival. Definitely enjoying this place. They got good bands, good food. Oh, it's perfect. Great found festival. You, found you a good little place to hang out at a golf cart right here and eat up some Jambalaya. Yeah, next to the garbage can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't find a better spot. All right, y'all. Keep eating, Kyle, and we're going to see who wins this contest. Oh, yeah. That's all ready for it. All right, y'all, made it over here. I found the mayor sitting on the golf cart. How's it going? It's going really good. The weather held out. That's we're so happy about that. Uh, every year it looks like we get a little shower, and so far we've not had one shower. So we're very pleased with that. I'm telling you, we got a wonderful crowd. Yeah. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday we expect a good crowd as well. We got some good cooks in this final. Let me tell you, this is where it comes down to the nitty gritty. Because most of these guys have been cooking for many, many years. And it's tough when it gets down to the finals. But I'm real happy to see the ones that's in there. I think there's three former champions and two first-time rookies. I think. I think that's how it's going. I, I think you're corrected by that. I think you're totally corrected by that. And you know, look, we always like to say there's no losers here. Because right. everybody that comes out and, and do this and cook in this heat, I, they all winners in my mind. Oh, man, the same by that fire out there some. You better believe it. You better believe it. Look, we're very pleased with our crowd that we got right now. And I know we've had people question us about the, the uh, what is that little festival going on in Baton, Baton Rouge? Something in Baton Rouge. Something going on. Some kind of music festival. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I don't believe for one minute that that hurts us at all. I think oh, we get the, no. the normal crowds that we get all the time. And listen, I don't see why a person couldn't enjoy both. Right. You could come here during the day or go there during the day or come here during the night or whatever. That's exactly right. I, I don't think it hurts us at all. So we're real pleased with uh, the turnout so far. And again, with the participation of all the cooks, it's been wonderful. Awesome. Well, thank you for stopping and uh, chatting with me a minute. Well, look, I appreciate you coming by. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Mr. Barnes. All right, buddy. All right, y'all got away from all the festivities on the side over here, and I found David St. Romain. How you doing, Mr. Dupree? Doing good, doing good. Uh, you can be playing later tonight. That's right, 7.30, get, getting on the stage, gonna have a good time, got a horn section ready to rock. Awesome. Now, uh, tell me some of the stuff you've been doing. Well, we did a record last year. We finished up the album in October and put it out, and uh, just been about promoting uh, different songs, getting out and playing a bunch of shows, doing a lot of nonprofit work, getting excited about uh, the summertime, and football season's coming up right off you know right around the corner so now you were a nashville star back in 2007 yeah season wow. five and uh it was a good time man a lot of, a lot of excitement a lot of time a lot of growth at that point in my life awesome well maybe we can get you to the, come to the south louisiana crawfish ball and contest festival next have year have to do that for sure for awesome. sure definitely now how can people get your music david st romain.com facebook uh pandora you can listen to it online anywhere all the streaming opportunities awesome. so yeah go go to david st romain.com and uh, keep up with where I play, and and uh, love to love to see you out there on the road. Well, thanks for taking a moment and Absolutely. talking with us. No worries. Y'all have a great afternoon. Thank you. Fred's on the River, Day Meat River in Prairieville, started as a bait shop and has evolved into a legendary place for music and dancing. The new double boat launch has been complete, with lots of parking for boats of all sizes, and the food mart offers convenient gas, food, and condiments for your day on the river. Happy hour five to seven, Tuesday through Friday. Karaoke every Friday night 8 to 12 with pool tables and video games. Band starts April 10th and run through the summer on Saturday and Sunday nights. Hope to see you at Fred's for a fun and exciting time. Lamar Dixon Expo Center, the crown jewel of Ascension Parish, supporting community development and charitable organizations. 
The center offers a wide variety of activities, such as outside show arenas, fully equipped barns, a newly renovated 4-H building, an Acadian-style chapel, RV parking with bathhouses, and large and small banquet rooms, just to name a few. Located in Gonzales and surrounded by hotels, restaurants, and great shopping venues. Come enjoy what Lamar Dixon Expo Center has to offer. Miss D Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Maria, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro, now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees, right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Alright y'all, made it over with the Master of Ceremonies, Todd Long. Doing, doing good. It's warm out here today, bro. Yeah, it is. It's a little, little warm, we, you know. No rain? Yeah, no. It's warm, we expect the warm. Now, you've been out here doing uh, ceremonies for what? Almost 15 years. Wow. Yeah. It's, time it's been a while, man. It's been a while. So, uh, started off doing the TV stuff with APTV and then uh, wound up getting the uh, Main, whenever we moved on this side of the road, so in 05, oh, I guess I became the official. There we go. Master of ceremony. Somebody's got to get up there and say all the stuff. But it's a lot of stuff. Hey, we got 12 good finalists this year. We do, man. We do. We got we got 12 good cooks. And, um, you know, when you, I've been out here a long time, so I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've seen a lot of guys get started. And to see them advance as far as they have, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good feeling. So it was three past champions. Three past champions and uh, no rookies. We didn't get any rookies all the way in. We had two rookies making the top 32. Uh oh. And then we wound up with five champions in the top 32. And then three of them advanced into the finals. And the, the, the odd thing about that is, it's 2013, Scott Dupashane, 2014, Horse Wren. And 2015, Lee Ellison. Oh, all recent. Yeah, all recent. Very recent. Yeah, yeah. Now, which uh, is cool. Do you have a favorite or who you think? Yeah, whoever wins. <laughs> <laughs> whoever cooks the best jumbo, I'll win. No, I mean all them guys, man. There's, there's nobody in the in the top 12 that doesn't deserve it. I mean, and whoever wins is going to be a good story. Yeah. You know, if if one of the guys, if one of the champs can repeat, or you know, nobody's ever won two since 05 since we went to the new format oh now a lot of the guys that cooked the old in the old format yeah. have been able to come and win in the new format but nobody's ever now that we go you know first round second round third round nobody's ever done that won it nobody's ever won it twice and nobody's ever went back to back and lee ellisaw has got a shot he's got a shot at it back to back scott dupashane had a shot a couple years and he's ago he's in the finals again yeah and he's been in the finals the last three years he, he won it the first year he made it into the finals. And last year, he was the only world champion to make the finals. And then this year, he's in there. He's also the champ of champs. Oh, yeah, he won that this year. He won the champ of champs, yeah. Wow. So he, he's, um, if you're going to go with, you know, with consistency, uh, you have to pick Scott, 
or probably pick Lee Ellisor. Yeah. Nobody's probably cooked more jambalaya all year than those two guys. Right, right. Well, so, I want to thank you for stopping and talking oh, with me. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. And we're going to see who comes out champion today. I see it, buddy. That's it. Yeah. One of them's going to walk away a winner. How's it feel, man? Woo! I know you ain't a man for many words. But give, <laughs> give us the few you got. Oh, uh, this is awesome. <laughs> Uh, all the coaches are good friends of mine. I like them all. We all put together all the time. All everybody's friendly and helping each other. They want to be like this. How about that helper you got? You can't be with it. Are you proud of your daddy? Hell yeah. <laughs> now look, let me ask you a question. A long time ago, you told me the judges are more good at doing it. You better go out now. Oh, they got it right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, horse winning in the house fly. This will make the house feel a little better with that $2,000 check. And I'll say this, this is Diamond Bank coming up here. That's another one for And also, Diamond Bank coming up here. Oh, 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 oh. he gets his second ring. And we got something for the horse fly. Oh, How about that beautiful ring from Lane's too? How about a big round for Lane? Go to him. Pierce Foundry. There you go. Thank you. Oh, I see it. These are the first people to hold the prize. The first person to get two of those. And you're the first person to win it in the format. So it's got to be a great for me. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You got anything else, Rob? All right, we're going to turn it over to the fans. We thank y'all. We thank everybody. And uh, y'all are a great crowd. We're going to get a couple pictures with the Queens. But, uh, All right, y'all made it up here with the champions, bro. How you feeling, man? How you feeling? Oh, I'm so excited. I can't hold it standing. Uh, how you feeling? Uh, same as him, but uh, it, this is awesome, man. For two times. Uh, the second time you got it. This is the second time. Who you want to thank out there? I mean, everybody. I want to thank my son for uh, doing an awesome job helping me. I want to thank my wife for putting up with me all this, through all this bull. And all my, all my friends and family. Man, congratulations to both of y'all. Great job. Y'all got the money, got the paddle, got the hatchet, got everything. Champions. All right, y'all. What a fine day at the Jambalaya Festival, y'all. The 49th annual Jambalaya Festival. We got a new king crown. Hoss Wren, we've seen some good food, we've seen some good people, and we still got good music. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.